Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, Are You On Their Mind? So this is going to be stone number one with an orange agate, stone number two with a clear agate, stone number three with a teal agate, and stone number four with a purple agate. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you have to and get out your pendulum. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps me. It lets me know that you like this video and that you would like for me to do more of them. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. And also in the video description is you'll find all the different prices, how long my readings are, all the different reading options that I can do for you. Because I don't just do tarot card readings, I do other readings as well so if that's something you might be interested or if you're just curious you can go ahead and look in the video description below also in the video description is where you'll find your timestamps so let's go ahead and get started and let's find out what if you're on their mind all right so here we have the cards for stone number one with the orange agate and let's find out what they're if they're if you're on their mind okay so these help me and I actually what I'm kind of doing is I'm figuring out the answer here and then I'm pulling these I'm picking what cards to use depending on what the answer is so that's what I'm doing <laughs> if you're curious okay so the answer is yes you are on their mind you're on their mind all the time I don't think there's very, very small amount of moments in their life and through their day that they don't think about you. I get, I'm getting through here. Hold your horses. But anyways, I'm going to tell you what cards we got here. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have, we have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. We have the Queen of Cups. We have Lily, Lighthouse, and Dolphins. And clarifying these cards is Celtic Knock, Swans, and Mice. Then we also have number 39, Protecting Treasure. Number 19, Express Love Through Gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. And Clarity. Says, let me trust my deepest instincts in all ways, especially when matters are unclear. May my own holy intuition always guide the way. And that's part of what they're thinking about with you. They're thinking about their intuition. They're thinking about... They're contemplating their choices. There's definitely a balance. I feel like there's a balance between choices here. That they're trying to make they're trying to make a choice if the choose okay they're contemplating their their paths ahead of them they're trying to juggle more than one thing they also think that you are as well but like they're thinking about that and and how it relates to you but I did get like hold your horses here even though that's not the necessary meaning of these cards when they're in the reverse. The Knight of Swords is telling me that they're thinking about their words and trying to be careful about what they say to you. And, and they're also thinking about their actions. This is like actually rushing in and not thinking before they're acting. And I'm feeling like that these are telling me they're trying to make sure they, they're monitoring like their behavior. So they're trying to make sure that, okay, I know like this person, by the way, is like in love with you and they, <laughs> and they want to protect you is one part of it. You're the treasure. So they want to protect you. And so they want to run in, but they can't, they can't run in. They love you with the queen of cups. I'm just feeling like you're the queen of cups or they're the queen of cups. It depends on whoever you are, but they want to run in. They, they love you. They want to protect you from something. It's going to be different for everybody. This is a general reading. 
And it's like their intuition is telling them that you need to be protected from something. Also that you need to be warned with Lighthouse. Oh my goodness. But at the same time, they know they just can't rush things. So I'm feeling like either they're thinking about sending you a gift or they have sent you a gift maybe multiple gifts um maybe they're afraid they're gonna overdo it with the gifts they think oh, i want you know but at the same time they want you to be clear you know they want there wants to be clarity about their intentions okay they want there wants to there wants to be clarity it's really important that they're clear. They, they want you to know that they love you. Okay. I feel like the person who you're inquiring about is probably someone who's really mature. Someone who has experience and ambition in the world. But this person loves you completely. If you're ever wondering, to loves you completely unconditionally. There's unconditional love. This is a divine union. Okay, just so you know. You're to them, to you, or to them, you are the love of their lifetime. You're the love of the lifetime. And In infinity here. It's saying so, but also here. And in, in, there's something they, they want to warn you. Okay, they're trying to warn you about something, some kind of, a bop, uh, they want to warn you about an obstacle to avoid, or they want to help guide you, they want, the, but also it's like telling me like a bunch of different things, they want to use tact and diplomacy, they're trying to make sure that, you know, they do the right thing, I feel like they're also trying to make sure that they don't overwhelm you, okay. They're very hopeful. They think that you have this choice. You're the one, they're thinking that you have a choice and that you're completely capable of making a choice. And that's what they're trying to express their love to you because they want to let you know that they're clear that they want something with you and, and, um, and you're able to contemplate you're able to choose. That's what the two of wands is about. It's not about not being able to choose, but actually having a choice and being able to choose whatever you like. They're also wanting to tell you, you know, if they have not already told you that they feel like that you're either like soulmates or twin flames. It does actually say twin flame here on swans. They love you. They want to tell you about how much they love you. They want to tell you how much they have faith in you and how, what kind of, how much of a soul, like a deep soul connection they have with you. And they worry. They're worrying about either like a loss of, of communication. They worry about having peace with you. They worry about being able, like, in, I feel like in this case, help help you. They want, they also want your help. They need your help as well. The communication would help them. Like, communicating would help them. They're either, they're really stressed. Okay, and it's like, really wearing them down. Like, they're so worried about it that it kind of makes them sick. Like, I feel like it makes them physically ill. They're worried. I feel like there's, they're worried about something, something either like you're in a situation that maybe you might get hurt or something. But let's go ahead and read these. Like, I already know what they mean, but I like to read the meanings, okay? And then if you, because I like to allow for synchronicity. So if there's something that's in it that maybe I don't pick up that might be relevant to you, then you can. But the worst case scenario, it won't, re it won't matter. And I just wasted your time. I'm sorry <laughs> if that's true. 
Anyway, so we have, I'm going to go ahead and read number 39, protecting treasure. You're the treasure, by the way. I'm really feeling like you're the treasure. All right. So it says, you are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. That's what they also want you to know with clarity. They're trying to make it clear that if you, that if you chose to move forward towards them, that they, you would be welcomed, you know, that there wouldn't, that, that you're, it's like, they want you to do that. So it, and also that you could trust them. You can trust them with anything that you would say to them, anything that you would do. If you ask them, especially they would keep like, I don't know, like they would keep your secrets or something like that. They would protect you. They, they would protect you. They wouldn't let, they would never do anything to put you in danger or anything like that. It takes whatever resonates for whatever your situation is, but they, they would not do anything to harm you. They don't want to, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to hurt you. Okay. All right. So although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level, you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial, ugh, that word, <laughs> the proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important theme now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under the angel's wing as you are not alone and have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. So part of what I really feel like it's trying to say with this card right here is that not only um, do you not have to be afraid that they would not hurt you, but also that the divine will protect you if you are able to move forward. So just say, for example, there was some reason why you felt like you couldn't move forward. Maybe there's an, another person or somebody who would disapprove. They would try to make sure that you're protected. And also not only would they protect you and try to make sure that nothing would happen like to upset this other person or anything. If just saying it for an example, not saying that's what your situation is, but they also, the divine would protect you and protect both of you because this is, I feel like this is like for at least most of you, this is a twin flame reading. Um, but They, they also, they're just, they want you to know that, that like, they're really loyal to you. I didn't know I was doing what they want to say to you. <laughs> Apparently that's what it's turning into a bit, but I'm feeling like there's some kind of difficult, there's some kind of issue with communication here and cause it, with this card right here. And I'm really just feeling like I'm trying to relay messages to you, but, um, what does it say? There was another part. Yeah, the taking refuge under an angel's wing, but also they feel like they would, like you can take refuge on, with them. That's what they want you to know. And that you, you're you not alone and you have no need to fear, but also embrace your courage, embrace courage. So you can take a step forward if you, if you want to, if you choose that. All right, so let's go ahead and read this one. Number 19, express love through gifts. It says, a small token of love can convey great appreciation. A gift is evidence of your love and care for someone. Gifts do not need to be expensive. Showing someone your favorite place, sharing a special song, or writing a note of gratitude are ways of giving. Let someone know you care. Make the effort to know what is, what is special about the people in your life. Show your appreciation for them through distinctive and meaningful gifts. Simple, simple thoughtfulness is the best gift of, for anyone. Remembering a favorite food or a significant date can mean a lot to someone. So I'm really feeling with this right here that either they're thinking about giving you a gift or they already have given you a gift. But don't worry. I mean, 
mean, they would give you more. <laughs> but I'm just like noticing this mermaid with a pearl. And this feels like the Divine Feminine is the mermaid and the Divine Masculine has the pearl. And, and he's trying to give her, he's trying to give her this pearl because she's actually, but she's actually the pearl. Okay, this is a very rare relationship that I'm getting out of this. You know, here I'll let you see the picture better. But he wants to, to offer her this big pearl because to him, you, you are the pearl. Or she is the pearl. I would not be surprised if a lot of you are going to be water signs. I don't know, that really is pulling me in there. And plus we have the Queen of Cups here. And the Dolphins. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number two. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number two with a clear agate. And let's go ahead and find out if you're on their mind. So we have the page of pentacles. We have the five of wands in the reverse. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. We have the moon and temperance in the reverse. We also have white wolf, tornado, and lighthouse, mice, owl, third person. We have coming apart in the reverse. We also have metamorphosis. and independence. So, are you on their mind? Unfortunately, the answer is no. At least not at this time. And let me explain why and what's going on. Um, you might already know. However, according to the cards, you may not really be either you feel like you know and but you're not really sure. And either way, you're like I feel like you might have been confused about the situation. You also may be thinking that maybe like kind of imagining that maybe they that they are thinking about you. But with the Page of Pentacles, I'm really feeling like they've, they, they're, they've started something new. And according with the third person, I would imagine with somebody else. Okay. It looks like there's been a lot of conflict. Um, there is, I feel like the, the Five of Wands, there is, and this person it has inner conflict, but... I feel like they've given up on the situation that they feel like the things have become really clear to them and is saying that they're listening to their intuition and they're refusing to compromise on the situation. I feel like there's some kind of situation with dreams too. I feel like your dreams have probably been telling you about the situation or trying to maybe dream that, that, that maybe there was a third party or something. But I have a, a feeling like you're kind of denying that. Like you're, I feel like there's a part, there's a portion of reality that you've possibly been denying, but also you're confused. So it's not like, I don't feel like you had any good evidence. It's saying that you really 
like like even here it's saying that you've been really worried about the situation right but it's saying that you already had I feel like you already have this hunch that there is a third person there's a third party okay and you've been worried about it but I feel like it's something like it's saying trust your your gnosis it's saying trust it's like you have this feeling you trust the feeling that feeling that you've been having is correct okay and anyway, with tornado I feel like you're starting to see through the facade you're starting like the secrets are being lifted with this tornado I feel like with this storm that's brewing you know this I feel like you're starting to see that it's over that it's done which is is it, it can be it feels bad but it's actually good but it's saying the lighthouse is trying to say like there is a third person in this situation all right so let's read coming apart in the reverse all right it says a situation is unraveling and your best plans are leading you into a tricky maze your challenge is to separate out the elements of this puzzle to get a better perspective on what happened you may have lingered too long in a place where you didn't belong anymore seduced by temporary a temporary solution as you untangle yourself it's important to maintain a sense of humor don't fret you will learn something valuable that you'll need later when faced with a more dangerous situation breathe and know that you are loved and then also you know with independence it says the more you learn to be fr to free yeah my bad the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child the more freestanding you become help me feed and love this inner child dear lord it's talking about you but it's about independence and notice there's a butterfly too this even looks like a butterfly you know because it's like mirrored it's like I feel like there is definitely with like metamorph metamorphosis is a butterfly it's about transformation okay but it's saying it's it's really trying to encourage you to gain your independence they is, spirit is trying to c encourage you to stand in your power and to recover from the situation so you can move on all right then we have number 25 metamorphosis it says butterflies wait i want to read the other little part i like it it says you're in the process of deep and beautiful change butterflies earn their wings through great effort the process of change is often painful for it's never without losses and sacrifices if you're to transform from one form to another a part of you needs to die Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how to live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin or a caterpillar dies so that a butterfly can be born, you're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining, or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformation, a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. So that gave me goosebumps at the very end. <laughs> um, you'll love what you'll become through all of this. So anyways, that's all I have for stone number two. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead now and move on to stone number three. All right, so here's the cards for stone number three with the teal Aggie. And let's go ahead and find out. 
you're on, if they're on your mind or you're on their mind. We already know you're on they're on your mind. All right. So we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We also have Tower, Eagle, Broom, Fox, Owl, and Stork. We also have number 50, Compass. love I'm going to read it it's not about finding love you are love itself help me Lord to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love and then we also have unexpected visitors in the reverse I'll turn it up sorry right, so you can see it a little bit number 41 okay <clears throat> so the answer is no I'm sorry they're 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 not you're not on their mind but but let's try to figure out why okay like what's going on here that's what I pull all these cards for especially when it says no I'm like what is going on here you know so Huh. I wish you would like say it like it doesn't really say like if there was like fighting or anything like that not that I can see I know it, I know what I'm getting out of here out of Fox is that they're they're definitely thinking about themselves I I know I don't know if so much that they're having like third party situation or anything not saying that it can't that it can't be happening but I just don't see any cards indicating that at the moment okay but I do see them having their self interest they haven't they have their self interest going on here okay They think that there's something about you, like they think that you're too serious. Is one thing I'm getting. Um, I don't know if this is a permanent solution. Like, I don't know, like, if this is like a permanent thing. Or it's just that they just happen to not be thinking about you too much lately. But also, okay, for a lot of you, I'm feeling like they're really overwhelmed by these new ideas, like new, like ideas, things that they're doing that they don't know where to begin, and they're kind of obsessing over that too. They have something that they're working on. They might not be telling anybody about it, something that they're thinking, okay. They, they're afraid of it being, whatever they're doing, being criticized. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. You know, I still feel like, it's kind of weird. I still feel like they do find you to be confident and beautiful and sexy in this, paid, this Queen of Wands energy. I feel like there's also a lack of self-esteem. It's like, it's kind of like they've decided. This is what I'm getting. First off, their brain is preoccupied. The second is that that they're, they, they've kind of like decided that you wouldn't be into them. And they've kind of just given up on the whole thing. It's just like, okay. And they're trying to purposely take their mind off of you so they can like continue to work on whatever they're working on okay and I'm 
just trying to check this this fox card. I don't really feel like anything is necessarily wrong as much as like or that I don't know I don't feel like they're trying to deceive you as much as they it feels more like I mean don't get me wrong they are in this fox energy okay but it's more like they're thinking about themselves they're kind of being selfish and they're just they're thinking about themselves and what they're doing okay They're trying to get like a clear vision of the future, okay? They're really trying to explore some kind of unknown thing, something that they don't know about. They're trying to learn something new, but they're, they're just, they're not talking about it. Okay, so basically, no, I don't want you to get too overwhelmed with this because I mean, you're not on their mind right now. It's because they're purposely with Broom that I feel like that they're 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 trying to avoid. They telling themselves they don't need to be with you. They don't need to think about you. They don't need it because they're trying to work on like there's some kind of there's some kind of transformation they're trying to work on. Also, some of them might be wanting to move, like relocate. But I feel like they're trying to go through a transformation. And I don't think it's about you. I don't think you didn't do anything. I don't really see anything where you didn't really do anything. I, I don't see anything like that. I just see them like them not having some self-esteem issues. Not really thinking that you'd be into them. And kind of like, ah, oh, that wouldn't work out. And they're kind of like, okay, I'm going to go focus on this. But let's go ahead and read these. Because this is a new deck for me. And I really... I don't know. So let's see if we can get some more insight into the situation. I actually have not read Compass yet. Alright, it says, as long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power power you will never be lost all right it says you're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences to stay on the right on the highest path of your destiny you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north okay all right okay so another thing i'm picking up is that you don't need this person that's what i'm also getting with this card this card and this card okay because this one's in the reverse. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working on your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your, com for your compass with spirit has as true north will ensure you that you'll never be lost even on a on a starless night when all seems dark hmm another thing like the angels just told me is that this person is not for your highest good this person is very selfish and has is only self-interested and they're really hoping they're really wanting you to see through the fa facade with them that's what I'm getting. All right, then we have 41. One of these days I'll actually know. I just got this deck. I'll know this deck right away, and I'll be able to tell you easier. All right, so it's reversed. It says, unpleasant news is only unpleasant when you resist accepting what is. Sometimes the thing most desired is kept away from you because it's not for the highest good of you or others. Okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> I never read this card, I swear, in the reverse. All right, okay, so sometimes there is loss or disappointment due to a destiny whose pattern can't be understood yet. Change is something that may be forced upon you, like bad weather that threatens 
a boat, adapt to the shift in conditions, and think how beautiful the sky will be afterwards. Accept what is, and more fulfilling path will soon be revealed. That's cool. Remember that if you expect the unexpected, nothing can come as a shock. All right. Well, hopefully that wasn't too upsetting for you. <laughs> I try to give guys... I wish I could give you guys good news, but I got to give you the truth first. Good news comes after. I'm sorry. But anyways, don't hate me too much. Don't come at me. But if you would like, I would, I would like to hear from you in the comments still anyways. But anyways, if you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. All right, well, thank you very much. I'm going to go ahead and now move on to stone number four. All right, so here we have the cards for stone number four with the purple agate. And let's go ahead and find out if you've been on their mind. So we have the two of swords. We have the three of pentacles. We have the nine of cups. We have the hierophant. We have the nine of wands and the reverse. We also have child, letter, wine and then cl clarifying these is ring moon and wheel of fortune then we also have number 48 wishing well Let's see number 29 forgiveness and number 33 peaks of joy So I am happy to report the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, that you are on their mind. It's like so awesome too. Okay. So um, most of it is awesome. I mean, there is something. There is some kind of hiccup. There's something to do with forgiveness that needs to be happening here. However, for the most part, it's all good. This person, I feel like they, they, they want you. I feel like they want you, basically. They want to be with you. We have the Nine of Cups and we have Wishing Well. You're a wish come true. You're a wish, okay? You make them so happy, the Nine of Cups also. But they're like at a stalemate. And why are they about a stalemate? They're having a stalemate because I feel like with the Nine of Wands, there's some kind of situation, something that happened in their past that holds them back. Something is holding them back, some past experience, some past hurt, okay? And so they're, they're stuck, they're feeling stuck. The forgiveness might even be for themselves for something they did in the past if it's not for you. If, like, there's not... Because I don't see any conflict, like, real, like, fighting or conflict cards. There, like, for some of you, yeah. There could have been some kind of conflict or something like that. I'm not seeing it right offhand or anything like that. But, um... I feel like the forgiveness is something that, for some of you, that it's something they're doing for themselves. That they have to forgive themselves for doing something in the past that is holding them back. They're thinking they want a new beginning with you. And and honestly, it's to the point to where with these two cards, I feel like that you're the kind of person they would actually want to marry you. Like, they can see themselves marrying you. They really want to communicate with you. They think about communicating you. They, they're not sure how. They fantasize about it. They don't want it, but they don't want to just write you a letter. It's like they want to write you a love letter. They really feel, though, however, this is being, like, this is their fate. This is destiny, okay? And that if you were together, that your relationship, you'd be able to grow together, and it would, like, age like fine wine. 
it would age well. You'd be able to grow together. That you could have a legacy together. And they feel like it's kind of, it feels like destiny to them. It feels like fate. All right, so let's go ahead. Wishing well. It says desire is this sacred impulse of life. Feel it, but let go of all attachment to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth when you feel the inception of new life. It is an aha moment when everything makes sense. Perhaps you realize or recognize a soulmate. Ooh, that's what they're, they're thinking about you. Or are conceiving a baby or an idea. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some of you are thinking that maybe they're thinking about it. I know this person is definitely thinking about having a legacy with you. So it's not impossible. The wishing well card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings. Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is create co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. To that end, you can't control the progress or the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. This is something they actually need to do. It helps if you do too. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well and trust in spirit prepare to be amazed. I like that. What you think about that? Let me know in the comments below. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and read 33 since I got it in my hands. I like, I don't know, I'm getting excited about this one. Look at this person. They're like flying high. They're like, yes, I'm so happy. They're on top of the world when they think about you. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the results. You're coming closer to a sense of, a, of achievement and you've worked hard for it. You're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronicity. That's a word. Synchrona. <laughs> Wait, I want to pronounce it properly. Synchrona. Chronistically. Okay, it's a big word, all right. Arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing a beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness. Joy is contagious. Wow. So that's how you make them feel too. Apparently, I, this turned into how you're, how they're feeling as well. Sometimes these readings surprise me so much. You'd be, you know, you should watch as many as you can. You never know what you're gonna get. I get thinking and feel like if you're really into what are they thinking and feeling, these kind of readings do bring that out. All right, so we have number twenty-nine, forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Be willing to forgive yourself and others and open the doors to future growth. Love can be restored and trust can be rebuilt. Move from bitterness back to the joy you deserve in your life. All right, so some of you, I'm feeling like if you had a conflict that they're starting to realize that they need to forgive everybody involved, including themselves, and that that the relationship can and trust can be rebuilt, okay? But also, but that's not going to... You know, I don't feel like that's going to apply to everyone. But for those that there was a conflict, I'm just saying. Um, for the the rest, I'm feeling like, again, it was saying it's time to forgive yourself, I think is a key word there. That they they have to forgive themselves. For some of you, for, their per, for your person, I feel like that they did things that they feel like that was bad. And maybe previous similar situations or previous relationships. And they 
have a difficulty forgiving themselves, which also can indicate, you know, having difficulty with feeling of, of self-worth. Unfortunately. But anyways, move from bitterness back to the joy you deserve in your life. Granting forgiveness is a choice that you make. You may not feel like engaging with someone, but you can forgive them without ever talking to them. An act of forgiveness help replace anger, depression, anxiety, and old pain with hope and compassion. Think about what you can forgive, as the benefits will be immeasurable. The process will increase your inner strength and your self-esteem. Forgiveness can heal and help you move forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Replacing hurt with love will free you to love more deeply. So, that's like... This is like the gist of what they feel, but then it's kind of given a little bit of guidance too, but it's actually more to them than it is to you. But hey, you know, if you got a similar situation going on, I mean, for your, even yourself, it's just always good advice to take. But anyways, that's all I have for stone number four. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, and it really helps me out. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a private reading, you can see how to do that in the video description below. Alright, well thank you very much, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.